really important uh, part of the TFOS dues too. There's a whole subcommittee uh, dedicated to diagnostics. And one of the initiatives was to create you know, an algorithm uh, for you know, the average practitioner to follow and to help triage these patients in their office. Pretty much any surgery that we do can have an effect on the ocular surface and, and affect the homeostasis of the ocular surface. It needs to be identified and it needs to be discussed uh, and it needs to be treated you know, uh, uh, preoperatively and postoperatively. One of the other major uh, initiatives was to get the world speaking the same language. You know, the, one of the big problems and part of the frustration for a lot of people, patients and doctors alike, is that uh, you know, there has never been a true consensus as to what dry eye is, how to measure it, how to define it, how to study it, you know, clinical trials, etc. All the, the TFOS days too created this definition in a way to homogenize the world and that we can all be on the same page when it comes to what this all means. All of those patients will have some form of ocular surface dysfunction or dry eye disease and we have to, everybody needs to get on board with dealing with this on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you have a little bit of knowledge, knowledge, knowledge is power, and this simplifies it so that you can very easily classify each of your patients who walks in the door as one of these, into one of these compartments, or multiple compartments, because a lot of these patients are multifactorial. 150 uh, participants from around the world, half of which, or more than half of which, were ophthalmologists. 23 countries were included, uh, experts from all over the place, uh, two years in the making to review all of that literature, all of that, uh, and, and I got, you gotta give credit to TFOS Deuce One for basically creating the field, creating the excitement, creating the explosion, uh, if you will, uh, in uh, dry eye research, the pipeline, research and development, all of these new products, all of these new uh, devices, all of this new stuff, really I would credit the TFOS 2's one. If everybody's on the same page, you know, it will not only help patients, it will help doctors identify uh, patients with triad disease, it will help patients get the right treatments, and very importantly it will help to sort of homogenize clinical trial designs and clinical trial outcomes. We can compare apples to apples as opposed to apples to oranges to pears to grapes. You know, it's just been this... So if we all start speaking the same language going forward, we'll be in a much better place and we'll have much more robust data that's comparable. I, I hate to use this word, but I have used it and, and I think it's a It's kind of, it's like the Bible. It's a Bible of dry eye disease and it is you know, the end all be all resource, you know, for this. Uh, and so this saves, you know, the, the initiative of TFOS dues saves people so much time in sort of going through PubMed and trying to find answers to various questions that they might have on a day-to-day -day basis, finding the right paper and the right evidence. It's been done. Every single word in that definition was scrutinized, it was debated, it was you know, thought about very carefully for two years, and so every word is important. And so I would encourage everyone to, to read that, not only once, but many, many times, and really think about what each word means. Yeah, that's 400 pages, but it's better than the millions of pages of going through you know, PubMed and searching online and trying to find going through you know, the library, if, if people still do that, uh, and looking through magazines and stuff. It, it's, it's the greatest resource for anyone who has any uh, questions about any of this stuff. It's all right there.